Hi, I'm Andrew Shearer, and you're watching Talking Through the Trailers, brought to you by OnlineAthens.com. Okay. A monster calls. Hello? <laughs> this is a monster. I'm sorry, that's not that's not cool. Uh, this is this is based on a children's book by Patrick Ness, who uh, adapted it for the film version. It's about a little boy whose mother has terminal cancer, and he's visited at night by a storytelling monster who helps him deal with it. Now, the idea for the book actually came from Ness's friend Siobhan Dowd, a British author who actually died of cancer before she could write it. And um, Ness and the illustrator, uh, Jim Kay, won multiple medals for their work on the book. And this whole thing just has an intensity and a, a heaviness about it that doesn't often get translated to film. I think Where the Wild Things Are is one of the few that managed to pull that off. Uh, the film's directed by J.A. Bayona. He did this great Spanish horror movie in 2007 called The Orphanage, and um, I think it was an award-winning movie in its own right. And his next movie, uh, The Impossible in 2012, um, there was a drama that won an Oscar. Naomi Watts got uh, Best Supporting Actress, and uh, that was the one about the, the 2004 tsunami that hit Thailand. That was a, a great movie. Uh, clearly, what all of this adds up to is a film that's going to be way more than what usually comes out for kids to go see. I mean, Harry Potter and stuff, they're serious and like violent at times, but in Monster Calls would be categorized as fantasy too. But there's like real life drama here and it's it's done by someone who who knows it well. And then there's the cast. I mean, look at this. You got uh, Sigourney Weaver plays the kid's grandma. Uh, Felicity Jones from Rogue One plays his mom. Liam Neeson is the monster's voice, so get ready for that coming out of the speakers at the theater. And the boy's played by Louis McDougal, who was in Pan, which I admit I never saw. Oh, and uh, uh, Geraldine Chaplin as his teacher, daughter of Charlie Chaplin. You don't see her in American movies that much. I think, actually, I think she was in The Impossible too. now that I remember it. I mean, this is a risky movie. It's not the kind of thing people flock to see, even though it's got all the earmarks of the stuff we love, big digital effects and young characters. I think that director was just hired to make the next Jurassic Park movie, actually. So hopefully he'll add some humanity to that. Monster Calls is a big screen movie. Stuff like this is just better if you go see it in a theater. So you should probably do that. Man, I've been waiting for this movie forever. It came out in limited release over the holidays, which means nowhere near Georgia, even though they filmed it here. But 2017, kicking it off with an amazing looking movie. Not complaining. Hidden Figures, based on a book by Margot Lee Shetterly. It's the true story of three black women, Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson, whose expert abilities in math were responsible for getting uh, NASA finally caught up with, uh, with Russia in the space program. Um, their work made John Glenn the first American to orbit the Earth, and they did it all while employed at a segregated research facility in Virginia. We're talking about human computers here. I mean, what'd they do before then? Estimate? Guess? Not the best plan when you're shooting people into space. Uh, the cast is awesome. I mean, it's a dream cast. Look, Taraji P. Henson plays Katherine Johnson, who, by the way, is still alive and has seen the movie. I've loved Henson uh, ever since I saw her in Hustle and Flow. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. Uh, Janelle Monet plays Mary Jackson. Monet, of course, was one of the stars of the absolute best movie I saw in 2016, Moonlight, with uh, Mahershala Ali, also from Moonlight. Um, Octavia Spencer as Dorothy Vaughn. Spencer got an Oscar in 2012 for The Help, but I'd really like to see her win for a movie that I like. I know she's got a Golden Globe nomination for this movie, so I hope to see it on the list for many Oscar nominations when those are announced. I'm, I'm just, really, man, I'm just glad this is a PG movie. I hope you go. I hope everybody goes. There's so many untold stories in our nation's history, and yeah, a lot of them are brutal and heartbreaking, and you shouldn't pull any punches when you're making movies about them, because truth is the truth, even though it's not family-friendly a lot of the times, but it's awesome when stories like this can be told and accurately and be shown to kids in schools as part of the education of the future of the planet. <laughs> Hidden Figures, what I'm saying, Hidden Figures is an important movie and I cannot wait to give my money to it. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Cinemaphile podcast on iTunes, Stitcher Radio and Downcast apps and follow our Instagram at ABH Cinema and our Twitter at ABH Cinema. Thank you.